We are back, ladies and gentlemen. The altitude of Jeremiah's tour of Uganda is becoming higher and higher and higher with each passing match. Even though he has been successful, he gets each match that comes his way more difficult than the previous one in today's match. After the first session of games, he comes back, finds himself trading with two games, down 8-10 against Uganda's former seed number one, Ibrahim Kayanja. Here is Jerry trying to play, to pull one back. He was, by the way, in pretty much a similar situation yesterday with the same number of frames played. And yet he was able to defeat Rashid Wagaba Dog City. The only difference is that today he has been making a series of unforced misses and errors. And many a times when he has been making them, his opponent Ibrahim Kanji has been sweeping those games away. We await to see whether the same will be the case in this ongoing frame by Ibrahim Kanji's shooting. Maybe, 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 yes. After banking that yellow ball in that corner pocket, he's left with five more yellows, only one of them, a bad ball, that one closest to your screen near the black ball. The rest of them, by the look of what he has been producing, he could possibly take them away. I'm not so sure whether that is a very good shot. The opening was effective, but he most probably cannot put. Maybe he will try out a defensive shot. Simply play the yellow nearest to the white ball with a slight backspin, drawing it backwards against the cushion, snookering his opponent through the black decides to go for attack in the center pocket of the red and fouls. There are times where it is no of no use trying to put, especially given the risk potential involved in the shot. The learning curve never ends. Ibrahim Kanja taking a very heavy lesson. He had a chance to take a three-game lead and yet right now in the next few seconds it will be a one-game lead. Jerry is so unforgiving of unforced errors. Ibra Kanja 10, Jerry 9. But hey, that young boy is flipping our scoreboard today. He's a boy that is being taught how to play pool by Ibrahim Kayanja. At their local village, why is it? The umpire is Peter Bradley Gobi, who rocks the balls only, only for Ibrahim Kayanja to foul. This one will most likely be Jerry's equalizing game. He has come back with better fortune from the timeout. He's one South African that has had very interesting fortunes in many matches against Ugandans. First one against Caesar in Lusaka 2022. They played the three many matches, Jerry winning two, Caesar once. Also in Dar es Salaam against Caesar, played two matches, each of them winning once. 
in Bulawayo. Played a money match against Caesar and won it. Another match against Kasozi and also won it. Today he's playing the fourth money match against a Ugandan in Uganda and has won the previous three. Here he is now has drawn has tied up the scores to 10 10 with the two very quick clearances ibrahim kanja 10 jeremiah green 10 a race to 15 has now turned into a race to five Jerry aiming at the second ball, hits the second ball, and it's a dry break. Reds are clearly better positioned, and Ibra Kayanja fouls. He has lost all the luck, all the fortune. He is losing game after game after game. That one will not go down as an unforced error. It will just go down as an unfortunate situation. The table is still open because it was open. As Ibra Kayanja fouled, it means it remained open with Jerry's first shot. It is open now. He seems to be going for the yellows. On the yellow ball he's looking at with a pot. The cue ball is clearly positioned to open up the other two yellows near the center pocket on the left. He does exactly that, but opens up one of the balls, not both. Maybe, maybe, maybe Ibrahim Kayanja will have another chance in this frame. open up the yellow ball in the center pocket he will instead foul and Kayanja will not believe his luck in that instance as if in his free shot he simply at first he thought of putting his opponent's ball he goes for the easier option can't believe this guy is on the verge of sweeping away a game which almost started with him fouling after the break. Number one. I believe that you guys are getting entertained. Personally from where I am watching, I feel very very entertained. This spot is so beautiful to watch and when you watch players who are as skillful as these guys, it's even more entertaining. Niceness, just Ibrahim Kayanja leads 11 10. Maximum nine games to go. Of those, actually, it's maximum eight games to go. And of those, Ibrahim Kayanja needs four, Jerry five. The look on Ibrahim Kayanja's face is 
of a guy who is really determined to win this up and coming frame to re-establish a two-game caution. He will not blame anyone for not choking the tip of his cue before breaking to the effect that he miscued and ended up fouling on the break. Umpire Peter Gobi agrees with Jerry that it's a foul on the break and Jerry asks him to re -rack the balls. As usual, aiming at the second ball, sinks in one red and will go for the reds clearly for the reds. But the yellows are not bad either, so I wouldn't blame him for going for either of the two colors. He will most likely sweep away this frame and then break the next. And you see how one slight mistake can turn an entire match around. <laughs> By Ibrahim Kayanja miscuing while breaking this game. It's most likely ending up into a clearance by Jerry, who will get a chance to break the next frame. Goes for a safety, and it's a very effective safety shot. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry was trying to communicate to Ibrahim Kayanja that he fouled by not mentioning the word snooker before coming off the cushion and yet after hitting his ball he did not the ball did not hit another cushion umpire peter govi reacted that it is one visit but by the look of things jerry doesn't even need two visits to finish off a frame like this one he will try to put both balls in the same pocket. Look at this. Jerry, 11. Ibrahim Kayanja 11 rest to 15 but it's pretty much now a rest to 4 it is at this stage of the game that Jerry has been taking down his Ugandan opponents in the last three days it is exactly at this stage of the game normally the games have been so tight at this stage and this is where Jerry has been coming out top and we wait to see if it can happen again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Watching these games at times, I just leave you without interrupting your view with my own noise when these guys are playing. They make this sport so joyful to watch. The white management was missed only by Whisker, who will try a bank shot to the corner pocket on the right, and it will be the narrowest miss he has had. He will definitely Ibra be trying a safety shot. A little bit risky given the position of the white ball. Jerry finds the yellow ball. Almost sunk it in. Narrowly misses. It seems Ibra will do another safety shot. By Jerry's body language, maybe he can see a very small part of the ball. The umpire rules that he can't see any of the ball and grants him to play off the cushion. <laughs> Maybe he can see a very small portion of the ball as if he wants to use the small portion, small as it is, to cut it, try and sink it in the corner pocket, extreme end of the table on the left. If he does, it will be a very, very beautiful shot, but it won't come easy. And it is a miss. His opponent, Ibrahim Kayanja, has all along tried to get two shots which have not been coming. By that shot, clearly, the three reds, which are in a pretty good space, will be going in. The trick now is on that last red near the cushion on the right. I think after the shot he's playing now, he will play the bad ball next because it has natural movement of the white ball just like that white is safe. He will have to go slow in order to reserve white ball for center. If he misses, of course, he will lose the frame. And he pots. The Ugandan fans give him a hand clap. And he enjoys himself on the last shot and leads now 12-11. Remember his words. In a video note he shared with the African Pool Fraternity, calling himself The Machine. Of course, it's one of his next nicknames, The Machine. Recognizing the fact that Jeremiah is nicknamed The Green Machine, he says The Machine is the real machine and will be cutting off Jerry's head the moment he steps foot in Uganda. Very few times that I ever see Ibrahim Kanja with such a serious looking face. He's a young man.
always likes to have fun on and off the table. Today he is meaning total business. To him, winning is more important than even the money and just the same for his opponent. This time, he sinks in a ball on the break. A very tricky looking table. I think he'll be trying to go for the reds as long as he can put with white ball opening up the two balls forces against the cushion on the right. He opens them up both and he's going for gold. Just a little bit of carelessness. Jerry is not the guy to play around with when you get a chance. Use it. No playing fancy shots. No risking with a shot which is more difficult than another. When you get a chance to take him down, if Jerry wins this game, it will be one out of the recklessness and childishness of his opponent. The fans will never forgive Ibrahim Kayanja. Should he lose this frame, they are all murmuring and quarreling in their seats over Ibrahim's decision making. There is space between the cushion and the red ball, the one closest to your screen, and that one is portable. The two other reds are portable in the center pocket, and for a player like Jerry, black is fine. A little bit of skill needed here. He will play as if he's playing backspin, white ball bouncing off the cushion, and the ball or the pocket denies him the chance to win the frame. It is what we call an abortion, the ball jumping out of the pocket. It is not Jerry's fault that he missed. He has been let down by the pocket of the table. A little bit risky starting with the ball which helps him control the game. He actually plays it not to pot. With Jerry, you do not give away chances just like that. You simply don't. As long as he has some sight of the ball, he has the best potting ability on the continent. Some shots simply do not work. He will attempt to pot in a combination shot, both, both black and red potting in the corner pocket on the left of your screen. It is the shot with which he won the first frame. It is a shot with which he could win this one or lose it if he fouls. 
and he fouls. So many chances Ibrahim Kayanja has been getting to win this match. So many chances he has been failing. It is very, very, very rare getting as many chances in a frame, a single frame, as Ibrahim Kayanja is getting in this very one. He has never been shot on skill. The young man from Wise, a former player with the Mambali Pool Club, Andre Giants Pool Club, and Mukono Pool Club, now with Scrap Bears Pool Club, is within two games of winning the money match he has played against the biggest player he has ever played with. Ibrahim Mukanya is leading 13 against 11 for Nsansi Land. It is time to get worried for the Pearl of Africa. It is the time to think that the end of the tunnel is in sight. And Jerry Powell. Fans are chanting, make sure and take your time. He will never have as many opportunities to win a match of this caliber, needing two games out of six, out of five, and with two shots to start the game with. He's wearing a very serious face. <laughs> he can see the end in sight. He's having the support of the crowd. He is lucky with the breaks of his opponent. He is blessed with skill. He is shooting to win. He should. He didn't even go for putting off the red. He knows that the mission is possible. He wants to live up to his words. He wants to walk the talk. He doesn't want to talk the talk. He knows that should he lose this match, he will be the laughing stock of the continent tomorrow. He is shooting very well. Make sure Backspin against the cushion and in position. Ibrahim Kayanja 14, Jerry 11 in a rest of 15. That is a crowd that are filled with joy downstairs and yes.
the sport is watched and supported in Uganda, even upstairs. Romano, my good friend, I can see you are so fondly supporting Ibrahim Kayanja. I don't even think you've ever met him. You are just supporting your countryman. This time, a dry break from Kayanja Ibra, it is. Things are just not working for Jerry today. <laughs> Even when he opens, he doesn't open very well. He's one big shot away. He needs to open up that yellow ball which is touching the black in the middle of the table. He has to play a shot which opens. Whichever shot it will be. There we go with Jerry. You never say never. <laughs> By the utilization of the Ugandan fans, Jerry has snookered himself. And he fouls. Is this the moment that is sending Ibrahim Kayanja and his fans, the entire club in Maxba, into celebration? Is this the moment that we are seeing a surprise score? pretty much one of the most surprising scores that African pool will ever see. Is this the moment that the ghetto boy from Bwaisi is defeating the boy from Durban thousands of kilometers away? A match he has no right to lose, given the stature of his opponent. Pretty much the most on-form shooter in Africa today is on the verge of defeat. Even when Ibrahim Kayanja performs an unforced error like you've seen, he is lucky with the resting position of the white ball. Jeremiah Naido in trouble. He can see only a part of the yellow ball. At best, he could try to put it in the corner pocket on the left by the bank shot. Fourteen eleven. Jerry in trouble. Ibra can only pray now that whatever Jerry does, the bank shot doesn't go in. And should it go in, it could be a turning point in this match. He's 
he's clearly going for a bank shot with the yellow ball by his body language hitting at least three cautions it won't come easy one it seemed to be on its path that yellow ball before it was intercepted by the white ibrahim kayanja is clearly having his day every time there are so many situations like the ones in this game ibrahim kanja is having in his favor many a times those eight games gained in victory ladies and gentlemen enjoy ibrahim kanja's historical clearance Ladies and gentlemen, this should be it. The young man from Waise is to overcome the guy from Durban with the sink of the black. And Ibrahim Kayanja defeats Ganda Ganda in the match. This will be the best. The real machine. The real machine. The real machine. The real machine. I told you the real machine. That is the noise of the celebration, shouting to whoever seems to care to listen that he is the real machine. Jerry is communicating that he wants a rematch now. For now, Ibrahim Kanja is celebrating. <laughs> ah, hello, no fans. Hi. <laughs> I told you, I told you, I'm the real machine. This is fake, fake machine. I, if he, even if he, he wants a, a rematch, I'm available. I can kill him every day. This man, Jerry, comes to me. Big up fans. Yeah, next time. Rematch, rematch, rematch. Yeah, rematch, I'm available. Yeah.